created a lot of stir on social media uh, because the finance minister in his speech spoke about cryptocurrencies and he said cryptocurrencies are not legal tender and that is the stated position of the government because it's not legal tender we understand that but he also said that the government will crack down on using cryptocurrencies for illegal activities now the question one is if it's not legal tender is the government going to say at some point there is a committee that you're a part of that you're looking into are you at some point going to say that trading in cryptocurrencies is an illegal activity uh let's uh let's not call them as cryptocurrencies because okay. that's what we don't believe that they are currency or coin okay so we have used the expression crypto assets okay right so these crypto assets uh, are being used today the exchanges are being set up a lot of people are buying it and there is a trade going on without understanding the full fundamental values of that so what the government has stated uh, and this is a progressive policy statement which has been coming out once a couple of uh, weeks back we said the government does not treat this as a currency and coin yeah. at all now in the budget speech the finance minister said that we will not allow its use for the payment system mm. and also uh, payment of illegal uh, uh, activities, activities yeah. right that has been stated which would mean that the government would do something to make this kind of use of crypto assets illegal mm. will eliminate that now there are after the crypto assets still remain uh, people may view some people may find value in crypto assets still, yeah despite there not being any fundamental uh, value there for many others mm. and that would require it to be sort of regulated uh, in a way uh, so that whatever transactions takes place in crypto assets for uh, the part which is legitimate uh is regulated by the regulators this becomes transparent but and it, then isn't, isn't becomes... that part already transparent because they follow the kyc norms uh, uh you know and you i understand that there's been uh, notices that have been sent to people and there have been surveys and not raids that have been conducted so can you explain to us what is the nature of regulation that you're looking at bringing in because no. I, i would imagine uh, even the global markets are listening to what is happening here in india because while we've seen a fair degree of volatility today the prices of the bit coin etc have crashed quite significantly so they are watching what india is doing as well sir so the exchanges which have been set up currently are not the regulated exchanges nobody regulates them they are in a way self set up self regulated kind of thing there is no legal requirement uh, statutory requirement for effecting certain kind of kycs and transactions there is no record of those transactions which is done today so when you move to a system of regulated exchanges for these crypto assets then you have entire uh, trail and, and and those things so that is what comes when you get uh, it traded imagine the securities trade outside mm. in the dabba trades etc which takes place in securities trade which takes place in regulated exchange exchanges so that's the change which comes about uh, when you regulate it. okay so when can we expect uh, the committee to finalize its recommendations because there was a previous committee as well which put out its recommendations which was never made public so when can we expect regulation on this front we hope now that within this financial year the committee would finalize its recommendations and then it would require uh, legal changes it would uh, require regulatory uh, assignment to be made which regulator would do it so all which those, regulator will do it sir so let us see let's wait for uh, that uh, recommendations to emerge in the government decisions but certainly there would be a regulator who would regulate okay